Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on really quick and, and share something with you guys. Um, my baby is not happy to take this. Um, so something just really hit me today in the car and I was just, I had my praise and worship music on y'all. I'm sorry that light. I had my praise and worship music on and I was thinking about my testimony and how I used to deal with so much depression and anxiety and how miserable I was at this point in my life. And y'all, God took all that from me. I, I can remember there was a time where I spent about six months um, really pressing into the Lord and really just nurturing my relationship with Him. And I remember getting up every morning, and this is when I started my morning routine with Jesus. And so if you don't do that, you need to do that. Like get up every morning and the first five, 10 minutes of your day, just spend it with the Lord in prayer with praise and worship music on whatever you have to do. And so at this period of my life, that's what, when I started to do this, I was so sick of being depressed and anxiety, have anxiety all the time. And so after about six months, maybe less than that, I just felt such a release in my spirit. Um, no more anxiety, no more depression. I just began to feel free. And as I was thinking about that today, I was like telling the Lord, like, sometimes I get so down and out about things and really I have nothing to complain about, even if things in life are hard right now, which I mean, they really aren't. Yes, there's things that I could complain about, but really I'm blessed. And, and I, I just started thinking about my testimony, like, I'm not at that place in my life anymore where I wanted to kill myself, where I didn't think I could face every day where I didn't want to come out of my house because I was so anxious and had so much depression. I'm not there anymore. I thought, God, you are so good. Like, that's my testimony. I mean, I have so many other stories, but that's like a testament to who God is. God is life and everything opposite to that, that, that represents death is from the enemy. So the enemy wanted me to take my life. He wanted me to be anxious. He wanted me to have depression. But the Lord took that from me because I submitted my life and my will to Him. And so as I was thinking about that today, like it just came to me. I'm free. <laughs> like I used to, I used to be addicted to cigarettes. I smoked for years. God took that from me. I have no desire to do that whatsoever. And if you're watching this and you have an addiction problem or you, you struggle with anxiety and depression, let me tell you, all three of those things are from the enemy because they don't benefit you in any way. They're not life-giving, right? God is life-giving. If it is from the Lord, if it's life-producing, if it is sucking the life out of you, if it is going to destroy you, it is from Satan himself. And so I want you to have freedom today. If you haven't watched the, the video I did the other day about are you bond or free, go back and watch that. This is just kind of a little nugget, kind of sprouting off from that. Like, man, I'm free. God redeemed me. <laughs> Jesus redeemed me. He died on the cross so that I could be free. So maybe you're a Christian and you're saying, Ivy, I'm saved, but I'm dealing with so many different things. I feel so many different struggles. Let me tell you, God wants to take that from you, okay? And He can. You have to give it to Him. What the Lord showed me the past couple of weeks is that there's often a gap in our lives in different situations, different things. And we try to fill that gap with material things, um, trying to make ourselves happy or to fix the situation. We try to keep ourselves busy, or sometimes the enemy will keep you busy to keep you from dealing with what's in the gap, right? Whatever it might be, if you're um, lacking things financially, if you um, maybe aren't mentally stable, what, whatever it might be. But when we allow God to fill that gap, when we allow God to fill that void, man, God can produce so much life in you that, that everything else just falls off and fades away. That's the only freedom that you can get from God. <laughs> no relationship, no friendship, no intimacy with a man or a woman on this earth can give you the freedom and fill that void the way Jesus can. And maybe you're busy. Maybe you have so much going on in your life and you've neglected your relationship with the Lord or you don't even really have one with Him. He's waiting on you. He wants to fill that void. He wants to fill that gap in your life. And then when we allow God to do that, when we say, okay, God, I give this to you, 
whatever's going on right here, I give it to you. And then we watch him move. And then he's like, see, I told you I would be faithful if you would just watch me and let me fill that gap. So whatever you are dealing with today, depression, anxiety, maybe lack of finances, I just implore you to press into the Lord. Open your Bible, okay? Get into maybe the New Testament and start reading about some of, um, just some things that could encourage your spirit. Um, maybe some of uh, uh, one of the Gospels, you know, the miracles of Jesus. And that's what Jesus wants to do. He wants to fill your life with miracles. Okay, so if you're hopeless, if you're watching this and you're hopeless, I pray that God fills you with hope today. And y'all, and this is, I was not planning on doing a video, as you can tell. <laughs> um, you can hear my little child in the background. I just felt led to share this with you. I want you to have that freedom, okay? And that freedom is only going to come through Jesus. It's only going to come through speaking His name over your life and allowing Him to fill every part of your life. So I hope and pray that this blesses you and that you can press into the Lord and have the same testimony and say, I'm free because it is the best feeling in the world and I want you to have that testimony. So just pray this prayer with me really quick. Dear Heavenly Father, I allow you to fill the gaps in my life where I have tried to fill the void with material things, with busyness. I want you to fill those voids and those gaps in my life, Jesus. I ask you to come into my heart. I submit my life and my will to you, Father, so that I can walk out the plans that you have for me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray that you will be blessed and that God will continue to work in your life and that you will see him work in your life. All right, y'all have a blessed week.